Overwatch heroes have tons of different movement abilities, all with their own tech making it very diverse. Genji has his double jump, wall climb, his dash. Lucio of course has his amazing wall riding, allowing him to get anywhere in the map in just a few seconds. There's also characters like Far and Mercy who can just fly across the map. Some characters are Ana. Back in Overwatch 1, Bastion used to be able to rocket jump in his tank ultimate, but now you can grenade jump every 8 seconds with his new ability. This makes Bastion a whole lot more mobile, allowing him to get into some tricky spots or do a cool flank, but this is still limited. Now some of you may know that you can do a double nade jump by shooting a grenade in the air and then another at the floor right as it comes off cooldown. This allows Bastion to go much higher and further than a regular nade jump as you can see here. Then what if I told you that that wasn't the double jump I was talking about? This is. Now in the past, Overwatch has had some trouble with emotes. And this is still the case it seems. You see, when the heroes in Overwatch come out of their city mode, they perform a little hop. Another thing about emotes is that in most cases when you take damage, it pulls you out of the emote. Now if we watch the clip again closely, you can clearly see Bastion get damaged and then get up and jump again once in the air. This on its own only gets you about as high as a perfect nade jump, and not even as far. However, if you get out of the emote at just the right time, something kinda weird happens. After trying for a while, this is about as close as I can get to getting up there with a single nade jump, for much closer as well. The double jump of course makes short work of this, but remember you don't get to keep your nade. This makes this tech really niche, as you need a wall higher than a single nade jump, and at a flank route where you want your second nade and won't be shot at. I will say this trick is more consistent than a single nade jump, so if there's somewhere you want to go and you have some time, maybe perform this instead. Although this bug isn't that useful, I still think it's pretty cool. It isn't game breaking and could still be useful in some situations, or just flexing on the enemy team. While making this video, this actually helped me find another bug, with Winston and almost every other hero but mainly Winston. You'll have to wait for the next video though, as it's too much to go in here, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it. If you are interested in some more useful tech, check out my Sojourn tech guide where I go over all her movement, which I bet you still haven't seen some before. Did somebody say thanks for watching?